Hey guys, what's up? By Second Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next Q&A video, and thank you guys for your questions. I picked as many as I had time for, so if you don't see your question in here, don't be discouraged. Uh, you can drop another one for my next Q&A video. Uh, speaking of that though, don't drop it on this video. Uh, I do these about once a month, so go ahead and wait till I uh, give you guys a heads up a, a few days before my next one, so that way your question is relevant to the game, it's not kind of outdated because uh, it was a month old. So wait uh, before you drop your questions, I'll tell you guys when I'm going to plan to do another one. But anyway, let's get to the questions. I apologize if you hear some clicking sounds, I have to kind of go on my computer and uh, open up the questions one by one. So anyway, here we go. First question comes from Cherry668. Uh, um, Great video, good luck for Town Hall 10. Would recommend if it gets a bit tough to uh, keep or keep the two vid a day schedule going strong, but you could record the main tips on Sunday or any day you have time and upload them maybe on the same day or once a day. Keep up the good work. This wasn't really a question, but it's something I wanna address. And uh, yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think I'm gonna try to record these mini tips uh, ahead of time so that way I don't have to uh, worry about them all being done on the day I'm publishing them. So I'll, I'll try to get them out of the way ahead of time. So if something happens, I have some ones already recorded that I can pull from the bank and upload uh, without having to actually sit down and record one. So great idea. Thanks for that. I think that should help me keep the uploads a little more regular. All right, next uh, one comes from, uh, oh, Cherry668 again. And no particular order, just going by these as I screenshotted them. Um, as you recently upgraded Town Hall 10, do you have enough time to farm or are you relying on gems to kickstart some upgrades? Thanks, following your content for a long time now, enjoying it very much, awesome job. Uh, once again, thanks for the question. This is actually more of a question and uh, I am farming quite a bit. I find some time to do it. I'm not quite as busy now as I, as I have been or as I will be. So it was a good timing for me to go to 10 and I should be able to get some good farming sessions in. I'm not spending that many gems right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting the farming done. All right, the next question comes from Chenandler Bong. Is adjusting your base after you've made it just a process of watching attacks on it and moving traps slash defenses accordingly? And when do you finally decide to retire a base? Nice fizz, by the way. Um, thanks for that. I guess what I would say is mostly that's what it's kind of it is. If you have a base that you like and it gets three starred, it doesn't necessarily mean you should put it in the trash. You can adjust a few things, see how it was three starred, like what key things happened, what the attacker exploited, especially if it takes a few attacks to get the job done. That's the successful uh, defense at Town Hall 9 especially. So um, unless your base has been shown on like a YouTube channel or something, I would just make a few tweaks and uh, yeah, mainly just move the traps, the defenses, whatever it was that cost you in the first attack and uh, typically you don't have to get rid of the base unless it gets to be starting like the first attempt. Uh, that might be a sign you want to really start to adjust things and maybe even start a new one. All right, uh, next question comes from changing my name because some, some dude thought I was a kid, so yeah. Is there a requirement to have five builder huts in the One High Family Clans? Uh, interesting question. I'd say the answer is no. Uh, nothing on your application really deals with builder huts, if I remember correctly. And uh, obviously it does make your upgrades go a little bit faster, but at Town Hall 9 especially, if you're just doing walls and heroes, you don't need builders anyway. You just need like one for your heroes basically. So uh, no, it's not a requirement. All right, next question is uh, B. Hobbs, who is your favorite attacker in the One High family? And uh, a lot of people in the comments were talking about 007, who is a great attacker. Um, but I don't want to pick out anyone because, I mean, the, the whole family, uh, at least the, the parts of the One High family I've been in, have great attackers. And uh, I think people have good days and bad days, including 007. So uh, no one in particular, really. And uh, I think everyone has good attacks. Everyone has bad attacks. So I'm not going to be able to answer that one uh, quite as fully as you might want me to. Uh, next question is Basker. However you say that, uh, when I was trying to design bases and getting feedback from my clanmates, 
It was brought up that clustering wizard towers made the base easy to plan out with a kill squad, etc. How sh spread out should splash defenses ideally be, and how do you properly cluster wizard towers? I don't know if that makes any sense, lol. Uh, well, it makes a little bit of sense, I see what you're asking. And since witches, talking Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, even Town Hall 11 to some extent, witches got a huge nerf. So, splash damage is the main thing for, for neutralizing witches, but you don't really need to be too worried about how your splash damage is laid out when it comes to defending against witches. Um, as far as other things, a lot of people like to put their wizard towers close together, and I would recommend you put two next to each other, but don't put all four in one place, because uh, wizard towers can do some damage to Valks when they're not being healed. Uh, go back and watch my how to defend against uh, Valk Valkyries at Town Hall 9 video. You'll see that putting that splash damage kind of out around the core, um, they can get some damage in on those Valks when they're stuck on the walls. So I would say keep them spread out for the most part, but you could have uh, groups of two. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the groups of four wizard towers, uh, but groups of two is good. Throw in some uh, small bombs for hogs, get all that splash damage on the hogs, and maybe even some red air bombs to do some extra splash damage on balloons and stuff. I hope that answers your question. That's the best I can do for that one. Uh, next question is Zach Heideman. Uh, what is your favorite part of this game? I would say it's Clan Wars, if you couldn't tell by the channel, but thanks for the question. Uh, all right, next question is uh, XX Bear Boy XX. Hey, nice vid. I was wondering if you if you will still be making some Town Hall 9 base builds when you're Town Hall 10. A lot of people asked me about this. I didn't include all of those in, the, in this video, but this is just one of them uh, regarding the base builds. And I am a Town Hall 9.5 right now, so... I'm going to have probably some Town Hall 9.5 base builds, but to be honest, they're pretty much exactly the same as Town Hall 10 until you get the Inferno Towers. So I'm going to be making base builds. I probably won't include my fifth Giant Bomb uh, or my third Skelly Trap or something. So it'll be kind of a Town Hall 9 base build, uh, but it's pretty much exactly the same as Town Hall 9.5. So don't feel like those are two separate uh, base builds I need to make because they're not. And once I drop the Infernos, you'll see some Town Hall 10 base builds. Um, but I might come back and do some Town Hall 9s in the future if that's still in demand. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that. I'm, I'm going to have the base builds covered. I know that's a popular series. All right, uh, moving along. Next question is from Jude Simmons. Will you be going to 9.5? Kind of already talked about that in my last video. Uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, you can check that out. And the answer is yes for a short period of time until my offense is somewhat upgraded and I get some Tesla, some air defenses maxed out. Then I'll drop the Infernos and be a full Town Hall 10. Uh, so maybe for a month, maybe two months, I'd say. Two months probably. All right, next question is Koana Quig. Great vid man. Question, uh, what do you think is better for defending C... What do you think is the best war CC defending troops? Thanks. I would say uh, Town Hall 9, I'd say Lava Hound or Pekka. Town Hall 10, um, it used to be Lava Hound, but because Valks are popular, maybe, uh, probably still a Lava Hound and a Balloon, but you could try to throw people off by putting in some weird uh, compositions like a Golem. Those can do some damage to Valks because they blow up and do a lot of splash damage, so uh, it, there's really no one thing. I'd say whatever works well with your base. All right, I actually had an interruption right there, so I have to splice in this next clip, but I'm back to the questions, and uh, we just talked about the War CC. Uh, almost done, but the next one comes from Luis Castro. Q&A, why did you start YouTube? Shout out to Clan War Pros, Level 9 Clan. Uh, yeah, sure, shout out. I guess you can put your shout outs in the questions. <laughs> kind of a sneaky way of getting them in there, but... Uh, Sounds like your clan's good. Anyway, uh, getting to your question, I started YouTube uh, just because I used to watch Chief Pat and I thought it would be fun to make war recaps. You can go back and take a look at my first ever war recap. It's still on the channel from about, uh, how long has it been? A year and a half ago. Uh, go back and look at my first recap and it was a little bit different in format, but I just wanted to uh, have something for my friends to check out. Never thought I would get this big or with this kind of audience, so uh, I appreciate you guys' viewership getting me to this point. 
but it was just started as a very recreational thing, which it still is to most of the to the for the most part. So uh, not much has changed as far as my purpose goes, but I'm definitely enjoying it even more as my uh, my channel is getting bigger and I'm able to uh, reach new audiences. All right, uh, moving on, we have Blue Dragon Omega. Have you ever wondered how your life would be if you never started YouTube or have a successful channel? Also, what advice uh, would you give to people who are interested in starting YouTube? I, I mean, I, I've kind of thought about it. It wouldn't, it's not like YouTube is why I'm playing the game. I'd probably still be in One Hive Genesis, uh, still be, you know, taking the game seriously in, as far as war goes. So it wouldn't be that different, I don't think. I wouldn't have this time commitment, which is a little bit more lately with the two uploads per day, but not a huge time commitment. Still, you know, under an hour each day is being spent on this channel. Uh, that could change, though. If I get more committed, if the channel gets bigger, I'll probably have to start paying more attention to it as far as the comments goes, because I always love to respond to all comments, or at least all comments that weren't a response. So... Uh, yeah, I don't think it would be that different. It's not like whenever I think of like myself, YouTube's a fundamental thing. It's kind of just a side thing I do, but uh, it's definitely something I enjoy and it might start expanding a little bit more into my time if if the channel gets bigger and people uh, are really interested in what I'm doing. So uh, it has to, that, to some extent. I've been spending more time lately, but uh, who knows where it could go. And uh, I'm definitely glad I did start YouTube. Definitely glad I started this channel. Uh, all right, moving on, we have two more questions. This one comes from uh, Zankin's question. Are you going to the One Hive clan, and how does the promotion process of One Hive work? Uh, I actually originally tried out for One Hive 1.0, the main clan, I guess you could call it, the first One Hive clan, and Genesis was kind of a stop for me through the tryout process, but I just kind of stuck with Genesis. And uh, I think One Hive is trying to get heavier, so they want more Town Hall 10s. And I guess it's possible that someone could ask me to go to One Hive, but I think I'm pretty much, uh, my ticket's punched for Genesis, and I'm very happy with that. I'm really enjoying the clan, and I think uh, it's everything I wanted out of applying and joining a One Hive clan. So I don't have any hopes of going to One Hive 1.0. I'm not saying it couldn't happen, but uh, as far as I see, it's not going to. As far as the promotion process of One Hive works, basically, if you start taking on responsibilities like uh, doing a website, you know, keeping that up or doing applications, you get promoted. So elder and co-leader are not done by like how long you've been in the clan. It's really the responsibility and uh, the administration of the clan. So as for right now, I'm not really behind the scenes too much. I'm just kind of doing the YouTube channel. That's pretty much it. So I'm still a member, but... Uh, people that have taken on serious tasks within the clan, as far as administration goes, uh, they are getting promoted, and you can see that in the clan based on who's co-leader, who's elder, etc. So that's how I would answer that question. Last question, though, comes from Nostub. Lots of Town Hall 9 content... Or... <laughs> Sorry, I cannot read questions today. Lots of t Town Hall 9 content YouTubers moving to Town Hall 10. And not really a question, but I think that's something I should talk about and that's true. The live attacks will be Town Hall 10, because uh, I am a Town Hall 10, but I'm still going to show a lot of Town Hall 9 content. Uh, the focus is not going away. I'm going to have Town Hall 9 attack strategies. Probably I'm going to have, you know, all the all the base destructions have been pretty much Town Hall 9. I'll have a mixture. I want to keep it very balanced, so you'll see a little bit more Town Hall 10 content just because I am a Town Hall 10, discovering new things and uh, doing live attacks as Town Hall ten as a Town Hall ten, but you're gonna see a lot of Town Hall nine content still, and even some Town Hall eight, and obviously Town Hall eleven when I can. So that will do it for all the questions, though. <clears throat> That's all the questions I could fit into this video. Thanks for uh, dropping them in the comments. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you got your question answered. But if you didn't, don't be discouraged. Like I said, uh, I'll let you guys know when the next one's coming up, so you can start dropping questions for that. But I love doing this series, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the attacks and possibly my answers to the questions. So uh, that'll do it for this video. See you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.